CII Broadcasting presents Legends of a Black Flag Produced and directed by Imran Ismail Hazrat Abu Darda radiallahu an reports that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Dawood alayhi salam used to make this dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak wa hubba man yuhibbuk wal amal alladhi yuballighuni hubbak. O oh Allah, I ask you for your love and the love of that person who loves you and of those actions which attract your love. The stories of the pious ignite the love of Allah and the love of those whose hearts were aflame with His love. We revive their stories to light the spark of Iman within us. Every episode has been based on true life events. This series is dedicated to all those that did and will live their lives for a higher purpose. Extra care was taken to ensure that this series was created within the parameters of the pleasure of Allah. May Allah accept it and forgive our weaknesses. Ameen. Legends of a Black Flag is a CII broadcasting drama produced and directed by Imran Ismail. Muhammad bin Qasim turned to his army and they planned what to do next. Okay, I don't want anyone to make a move. Remember, it was the practice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to first offer peace and invite them to Islam, but nobody should be forced. A few of us should lower ourselves into a boat and talk to them first. Bismillah, come on, Mu'ad, Saleh, yalla. I saw Muhammad bin Qasim talk to his crew. Some of them, he's senior by many decades, yet there was such a warm, confident attitude he carried that people looked up to him. Zaid shared his characteristic with him. They moved with a purpose, yet remained humble. This was the result of the taqwa they possessed. However, wherever there is a tree that bears fruit, there will always be someone who would want to pull its branches down. Hmm, look at him. Younger than my son and he wants to tell me what to do. Just because Hajjaj has his back, he's throwing his weight around. Abu Mudir, that's our Mir that you're talking about. We cannot talk about him in this manner. Says who? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, ati'u Allah wa ati'u rasul wa ulil amri minkum. Ya Amir, do we have permission to lower the boats now? Naam. Yes. Bismillah, tawakkal to Allah. Be careful, uncle. Two steps to the left. Okay, let's go. Zayi took me with him and also parted me with a white flag to indicate that they had come without arms. As our boat reached the beach, Zayi and his group saw the Indians were not soldiers, but in fact ordinary citizens. He sprang up from the boat and greeted the man who stood at the forefront with a warm smile. Are you the leader of the Arab army? No, I'm not. The leader is Muhammad bin Qasim. I'm merely the leader of the small group. You seem quite fluent in our language. We were trained in it before we reached Sindh. Why are you gathered here? We wanted to find out the reason for you invading our country. We are poor people and we don't want to get caught in the games of Kings. We have come to free our Muslim brothers and sisters who have been imprisoned and kidnapped. Your Raja has refused to take the pirates to task and neither has he returned the Muslims, so he has left us with no other option. Do you value people so much? Of course. Do you not? We value each other. But for the upper caste, we are the scum of the earth. Even looking at the noble in the eye is punishable by death. Astaghfirullah. Our religion has decreed all men as equal, except that we become better by our connection with our Creator. I have never heard of a concept like that before. We all firmly divided into classes. 
वी हेट राजा दहीर वी विल वेट टू सी इन विच डायरेक्शन द बैटल टर्न्स पर हेफ यू यू विन वी माइट सपोर्ट यू Muhammad bin Qasim and the rest of the army reached the Raja's palace with his huge army of approximately 6000 horsemen and an equal number of camel cavalry but meanwhile inside the Raja's palace his so-called wife was arguing with him Dahir why don't you try and buy him off Do you think I didn't try I sent a couple of guys to persuade him with money but he refused They were too impressed with him for my liking and it will be another score for them not to like me. Uncle, remember me? We met on the beach the day we landed. What happened to your face? I got hurt in a scuffle. One of the Brahmins, the so-called holy caste, beat my son up for crossing the street before him. So I went to pull him off my son. How can you be nothing? Allah says that humans are the most noble of creation. Here, apply this to the bump. It should help with the swelling. Thank you. I have never had anyone be so kind to me ever. Let alone people who were supposed to be our enemies. Why this kindness? Our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said, "I have been sent to perfect good character." A true Muslim has to be good in his treatment of people. Was he kind to slaves? Exceptionally, he ate and mixed with them and even adopted one whom he loved very much. I've been named after him, Said. I cannot believe such a religion exists. I have never known anything but humiliation my whole life for being an untouchable even at the temple. We are only allowed to the courtyard outside. Uncle We will stand shoulder to shoulder as Muslims. A king next to a beggar. Allah alone will be the judge of who is better. Take me into your religion right now. I testify that there is no god except yours and the prophet to follow is yours. Teach me how to be a Muslim. I can clearly see that your religion has come not to conquer our land but to conquer our hearts we are take at dawn everyone prepare preparation was not physical but spiritual the soldiers were engaged in salah dua tilawah of the quran and encouraging each other to look forward to either paradise or victory blessed were those hearts who anticipated death for they had nothing to lose wala in qutiltum fi sabilillah aw muttum la maghfiratum min Allah wa rahmatun khayrum mimma yajma'un and what though ye be slain in Allah's way or die therein surely pardon from Allah and mercy are better than all that they amass The fateful day had arrived and Muhammad bin Qasim led his army to a day that would forever alter the fate of India. Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar The Muslim army surged forward towards the battlefield their hearts were fired up with iman their hearts grounded in the knowledge that whoever sells his soul to Allah Allah will repay him with paradise. Nahnu dunullah, we are the soldiers of Allah. Ya ikhwanu muslimun, we are not just anyone, but we are the people of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. A man never loses. He either gains victory or paradise. Release the cannon. This was the first time that the cannon was used in war. It was so huge that it took about 500 men to work it. It blew apart the fort of Raja Dair. After a quick battle, Dair was killed, and the capital was in the hands of the Muslims. Congratulations, O Amir bin Qasim, a notch upon your career. You have succeeded. <sighs> Allah alone is the doer. Alhamdulillah. Now we must free the Muslims here. Most certainly.
وَمَا جَعَلَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بُشْرَى لَكُمْ وَلِتَطْمَئِنَّ قُلُوبُكُمْ بِهِ وَمَا النَّصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَكِيمِ Allah ordained this only as a message of good cheer for you and that thereby your hearts might be at rest. Victory cometh only from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Why do you dislike the good Amir? Who are you? I am your new Muslim brother, Mughera. Zaid has helped me embrace the religion of Islam. And he named you after his father. Wow. Oh dear. I should rescue Mughira from Abu Dharir before he gives him the wrong impression of Islam and how Muslims ought to behave. No, he named me after a great companion of Muhammad sallallahu Mughira bin Shabba. But even if he did name me after his father, I don't mind because only a great man could bring up a great son like this. Uncle, you're embarrassing me. Oh, really now? So, Mughira... Why did you and your fellow men dislike your Raja so much? It's almost as if you wanted him to lose the battle against the Muslims. He is disliked here because he had no morals. He even married his own sister. What? That's ghastly. Some fortune tellers told him that whoever married his sister will rule a great empire. So he married her himself. Even though the people could not digest it, and protest against the immorality. Well, it's a good thing that we got rid of him then. Allah alone is able to rid us of him. My brother, Allah the one that loves me, no matter what I have or how I look, Allah Akbar. Oh, Amir, an envoy has come from the governor, the judge. Come in, come in. Look at him. Do you think that he'd managed to eat without his uncle giving him permission? <sighs> what are you doing? Just about done reading a letter from my father. Oh, shame, you look sad. What did Abi tell you? All good advice and dua. Nothing said. I just miss him. A lot. Get over it. <clears throat> Abu Tarir, I would like to say something, please. I'm not stopping you. Muhammad bin Qasim was also brought up by a single parent. Just like I was. I know how it feels. His mother certainly molded a hero. She used to teach him Dean herself. And she has done a fantastic job. She also hired teachers to teach him secular subjects, with Qur'an and Hadith as the basis. Can you not at least... Hey, guess what? What's the matter? There is a wedding about to take place, or war, and it all depends on the bride's answer. Legends of a Black Flag is a production of CII Broadcasting and podcast in ciibroadcasting.com. CII thanks the entire cast of Legends of a Black Flag.